because if you know the Bible, if you believe the Bible above everything else, in other words, no matter what, even beyond what you see standing in front of you, <coughs> see, that's all healing is. If you stand in front of me and you're sick, all I have to do is believe this book, the Bible, over your problem. Amen. Even though I'm looking at your problem, even though I see the sickness, what it is, I have to decide that that book says, by his stripes, you were healed. And I have to believe that more than I believe your symptoms. And the minute I believe that, that's when you get healed. <coughs> that's what it comes down to. Now, the minute you believe that, you also get healed. And you can get it on your own faith or you can get it off my faith. Either way, it works. Or you can use your faith for somebody else. That's just the way it works. But bottom line is, you've got to believe that word. Now, God nowhere says in his word, I'm going to heal you. If somebody comes and says, I'm going to a healing meeting because God's going to heal me. Okay? If you mean that the right way, okay. But if you actually mean that God is going to decide to heal you tonight, that's a statement of unbelief. <laughs> because the word never says he's going to. The word says he has. See, I can't believe God's going to heal you. I have to believe that 2,000 years ago, you were healed by the stripes of Jesus, and today's the day we get to set you free. Amen. <clears throat> because this has already been decreed. It's already done. There's no question. There's nothing coming up. There's no, nothing that uh, supersedes that, right? And I've, I've actually had people argue with me, people that were sick. And they'll argue with you to try to stay sick. They want you to pray for them, but then they'll tell you every reason why they're not going to get healed. And I tell them, I say, well, that's not, that doesn't, that, that's not a qualification the Bible gives. Yeah. Well, you don't understand. There's sin in my life. Well, that, that's not a qualification the Bible gives. The Bible doesn't say that God won't heal you if I pray for you because of sin in your life. It just says I've got to lay hands on you. Yeah. So the only way you can't get healed is if I don't lay hands on you. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. See, you have to believe that word no matter what. And so you have to believe that word stronger than whatever you see standing in front of you. It, it, but now notice, this is just faith. This is exactly how it works in every area of your life. It works this way in finances. You have to believe what that word says about what God has done for you more than you believe what that bank account says. Amen. Right? More than you believe what the job said that just let you go or whatever it is. It, listen, the one thing about faith is this. Faith demands that God is your only source. Amen. You get that? Yeah. If there's any other source, you're not in faith. If you look at any other source, you're not in faith. God is my source for healing. He's my source of life. He's my source of finances. He is my source of power. He is my source of everything. I do not get any of those things from any other source. Right? Now, and I, I know I'm going to get back in this, but uh, there's some things we need to hit. Right? If you... Okay. The Bible does not tell me to help you get well. It says for me to set you free. Okay, and I will even go a little bit further in that. It does not tell me to help you find your healing. It says for me to go, preach the gospel, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely I've received, freely give. That's what the word says. Amen? It does not tell me to sit down and counsel you and try to figure out how to get you healed. It doesn't say to sit down and counsel you until we get all the devils out of you. Right? It never says to counsel out devils. It says cast out devils. Right? Now, there is an aspect of discipleship. But discipleship should be to help keep you well, not to get you well. See, power should be used to get you well and cause you to be a disciple. And then discipleship teaches you how to live this life that will keep you well. <laughs> 